Hey crafty peeps, it's Megan from Cluttered Crafter and welcome to today's video where I show you my new bullet journal setup where I'm moving into a new journal. All of the pens and markers that I use are uh, from eBay. This the one that I'm using right now is eBay. I don't know the brand of it because it's not written in English on it. It's a calligraphy marker. Then I also use a few Papermate flares and some Dollar and Rowney calligraphy markers throughout this journal. The journal I bought at Walmart a couple years ago and I was originally going to use it for a daily journal but I never did end up using it for that so I decided to use it as my new bullet journal and the first page is my key. I don't do a legend in this bullet journal. I don't think I'll ever do a legend in any of my bullet journals because I don't keep up with a legend. I don't update it. I don't use it. So I didn't feel the need to add it in here. I did go ahead beforehand and pencil in what I was going to put in this journal. And then for my key, I also have a color coding system and that's what I'm writing in now. Um, I'm probably not going to always use this but if I ever need to write in anything important dealing with these categories or I need to chart something dealing with these categories then I will already have a color coding system for these categories and I also added a few extra icons for in my key because um, my other bullet journal is mainly just for YouTube but if I need to track any personal stuff um, I have icons for that as well. Now this next page I'm doing is a future log and I started uh, with May because we're already into this year so I didn't want to do a future log like starting in January because those months have passed and it's just a little simple uh, four months on a spread and then on the sidebar you see is my year at a glance which I started with April since that's going to be the first month that's in this bullet journal. I didn't show the full thing of me writing out the little calendars or anything because it's really repetitive and I didn't think you guys would want to see that. I don't mind that this journal is lined, uh, but I also don't really like the fact that there's uh, like one vertical line going down where like the sidebar is. Uh, it gets it kind of gets in the way when I'm doing spreads, but I do make it work. Hopefully, my next bullet journal will be grid or dotted, and I can transition from lines. I would prefer a dotted or grid over line but overall it doesn't really matter. It's functional. It works. The page you just saw me doing was a quotes page. I really like doing quotes in my art journal. Uh, so I just wanted a page that I can click quotes and go and refer back to that if I need one for a project. And now this page is a happy mail tracker. I have one in my other bullet journal. Um, and it's not completely used up, but this is a uh, happy mail for the whole year and not just like a month. So I will uh, need a new one anyway, so I figured I'd just go ahead and write it out. The categories on top that I wrote in were um, who, what theme, extra goodies, send by and sent and received. And now moving on to my movies to watch list. And this is not just for like movies in 2017, like upcoming movies. It's just movies in general that I want to watch. It could be movies from back when I was like a child, like from my childhood or anything. And I just done a little simple film strip down the side and uh, off camera I listed all the movies that I wanted to watch. And then I can just check off in the middle of the film strip when I had those videos watched and I believe this is the last spread before I get into my April month which that will be a separate video altogether and this is just video ideas 
previously in my old bullet journal I used to do like projects for this month but I feel like that was a waste of a page and I wasn't really using it up so I figured just having a video idea in general would be good enough since I pre-record all my videos and not all the videos will be in in that month but that's it thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time bye and happy crafting